All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Must Have Wheels. So we got the Armor Fire team out again today. Uh, we did some big changes today. So today is a little bit of an exciting run for me. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. Uh, I'm probably just going to get to burn one pack through this thing. Um, but I'll get right to the changes that we made. So uh, the last video, uh, if you watched it, you would have seen that I was complaining about uh, some cogging on, on first startup, so I decided to uh, take that on my own hand and switch up the electronics. So we're running a full castle system in here now, guys. Uh, these are just something that I had kicking around. I had a couple of options for motors, but this is what I decided to go with. So it's a Mamba Monster X8S for the ESC, and I'm running a Castle 1515 2200 kV, uh, both running Rocket brushless fans for cooling the reason why i chose this over the 1650 that i had uh in my parts bin is because of the weight um 2200 kv is plenty motor to to, to drive this truck um, i have the same motor in my mojave geared for around 60 miles an hour and it stays cool um the less weight in these trucks, the better. It's it's easier on the impact, easier on the landings, easier on crashes, and it's it's less wear and tear, um, less pressure on the batteries. So there's a lot of benefits to running something that's just right for the car rather than putting something that's um, really big. And I like to save weight. Um, so anyways, this is gonna be the first test with this setup. I'm running the same pinion as, as I was with the um, Spectrum 2050. So it's a 14 tooth. Uh, we're going to do a speed run to compare between the stock setup and this setup to see if we gained any mile an hour between the two. Um, and then we're going to hit the ramp shortly after and see how she does in the air. Alright guys, another thing that I didn't mention is that uh, I actually got a chance to pair uh, my DX5 Rugged to this uh, receiver. Which is nice because now I only have to bring one controller around. get this GNSS going track start let's see what's good stop read wow it actually is 60 mile an hour so last time we got 54 mile an hour and i thought that was inaccurate because of the surface that i was running on i didn't have enough run but i confirmed that off camera and it it was confirmed at 54 so that's uh that's a significant gain just over that motor and uh, esc swap uh we're gonna go we're gonna go again and see how it goes Let's see what's good. It's flat out, guys. much easier to get the front wheels off the ground now I'll tell you that much now notice the e-brake now guys look at that 
One of the uh, most annoying things of this car is now fixed with this ESC and motor swap, guys. I can yank that e-brake, it should start going backwards and snap that throttle and she's lifting up. No more pausing, no more brakes and waiting. That's awesome. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna rip this GNSS out of this thing and we're gonna set the ramp up and see what she does there. But before we do that, look at this, I forgot about this completely. Read. 60 miles, guys, awesome. I'm good with that. All right, guys, I got the ramp set up over there in front of that snow pile, it's kind of blending in. I can't even see it. There she is. Oh, oh, we're buried. <laughs> I can't see where she went, but that did not sound good. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, definitely wasn't good. Okay guys, right off the bat, I gotta turn this punch control up. <laughs> Talk about a power slide guys. All right, guys, I had to move the ramp because I, I usually like to stand behind it. And uh, on the other side of that snow pile, I, I can't see. I can't line it up. So we moved it a bit. Guys, the chassis slaps from this truck are unreal. So uh, I had my front diff case snap on me in the last run. I didn't actually see it until I got it home. Um, I actually bent the chassis a little bit. I had to straighten it out in the vise. Um, the truck drove like that, no problems. Like I literally didn't notice it until I brought it home and took a look at it. So I had the, the diff out. And I cracked it open and I uh, refilled it with 60K and it's handling so much better now. I'll stick to the single flips for today. But going back to the bent chassis situation, um, damn that chassis slap is loud. I, I know it sounds different on 
on the computer watching this back afterwards but in person it's loud man crazy it's like it sounds like it's breaking every time uh, anyways guys so yeah this chassis is weakened for sure it's bent it was bent i straightened it um so it's good right now but already today i took a, a bunch of pretty hard nose dives i wouldn't be surprised if it's bent again so my question to you guys is do i wait for jenny rc to post up an exb chassis for a mojave because i believe they are 70 bucks canadian which is ridiculously cheap or do i spend the money and just go m2c for that uh, little bit of uh, peace of mind What do you think guys? Shoot it up in the comment section below. Oh. I lost something. Sounds like a motor wire to me. I see. Wow. It unplugged it just enough. Wow. Okay. That's a good thing, guys. Nothing broke. Anybody interested in seeing an off-road speed run? Because I'm super curious. Post that up in the comment section below too, guys. If it's something worth doing, if you guys are interested in watching, then I'll definitely do it. That's LVC, boys. All right, well, that's gonna end uh, the rip for today. All right, guys, that's gonna sum up this run. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. If you enjoyed it, guys, please hit that like button. It actually really helps out the channel. If you wanna see more on this truck and other trucks that I have in my fleet, smash that subscribe button, and I'll get some more videos out on all those trucks for you guys. Uh, we got the Trugified Sentin or Trugified Typhon, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be coming up with the Mojave uh, suspension swap uh, with some bigger tires on it. So that's going to be pretty cool. That's going to be coming shortly. Uh, I got some parts coming in from Jenny's RC for that. Uh, but anyways, guys, for this guy, uh, I think we're pretty good the way it is. In terms of power and all that stuff, handling, I, I like the way it drives. Uh, the power is good. I'm going to adjust the punch control and I think that's going to be it. But uh, as far as the truck goes... For modifications, everything else from this point forward is going to be for longevity and, and uh, strength. So we got to toughen this thing up. we got to beef it up a bit. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on. We're going to find the weak points, and one by one, we're going to bang them all off and, and get this thing close enough to being bulletproof. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.